All right, everybody. Welcome back to some more Baldur's Gate 3. Some more of Kremiel coming right up. Last time we found out we are, well, broken. Undead. We have experienced actual literal undeath. Again, as per usual, I will be drinking my coffee. It's morning recording for me. So, um, I kind of had to stop the video in the middle of leveling up Shadowheart, so I kind of just went ahead and did level her up, actually. I took Revivify as her last spell, and with Revivify, I did actually revive the Mother Yucker that is gone. Hello? Where is Glut? Yo, hold up. What? Glute was right here. Did he just... Did he just randomly bugger off? Okay, I need to check. So, last time... Uh, we found out that uh, Glute is actually really good. But I kind of misused his ass a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Just a smidge, which kind of ended up in, well, Glute dying. And my entire party dying because those damn hook horrors were actually stupid OP. And then I found out that I am even more broken with my party because I am undead. Quite literally undead. Okay, why am I... Am I crouching? Hello? Can I please stop being crouched? Thank you. Okay, Glute is right here for uh, whatever reason. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to him again. Hopefully he joins me again. Well, never mind. He doesn't want to talk to me. See, this is what happened last time when I played the game. Remember I said his ass would never talk to me again? Well, apparently him dying ends up in him never wanting to speak to us again because the game probably breaks. I don't think the game even knows we revived his ass. He's just here to be here because we have no dialogue. Quite literally no dialogue options. What is this? Uh, affected creatures can- okay. Yeah, we don't care. Alright, let's go save whoever that other dude was. I do already know how to save his ass, because I've done it before, so... Excuse me for maybe probably being just real quick about it. But we'll see. I may fail horribly, because it's actually really hard to save the guy. How do I get down, though? Let me actually figure that one out before I... Talk about saving his ass. Because I forgot how to get down. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Um, last time I took Featherfall, actually. And I jumped my ass down there. <clears throat> this time I gotta figure out how to get down there because I can't Featherfall because I don't have it. Alright. Guess we're going this way. <clears throat> this one hook horror that was saved, or rather... Made undead, technically. A spore servant, rather. Well, still technically kind of undead, because he is alive now. Uh, is the minion of glut? Let me took. Let me take these hooks. Let me see if the mage got something. Where did the mage die? It's been. It's been like a day or two, since I've done the actual video. So let me actually remember. I think it's. Yep. There we go. Can I move, please? Random rib cages. Alright. Philro. Scribble notes. Let me take the sleep. Icy crystal. A quarter staff. Is this any good? Eh. Doesn't matter. Alright. I will read with Cromiel. Um. Guardian of the Adamantine Forge. From Magma Rose. Only Magma destroyed. Hot hammer. Hot hammer. Where also oh, this is talking about a boss in Adamantine Forge. Alright. Just guarded by something vulnerable to a hot hammer. Might be useful. Or okay. Not gibberish, by the way. Do pay close attention to everything you find here if you're heading towards Adamantine Forge. That one I can tell you. Because I <clears throat> Spoiler alert, I do know how to deal with the boss in the Adamantine Forge. I also know kind of where it is. That's that I will still be heavily exploring the area. 
because I haven't been in the entire underground, okay? I was not aware we can cross here, but sure. Alright. So. Let's try to save dude. I already kind of know Gil's gonna be the one to do it. Shies it. But the reason Gil is going to be the one to do it is because we're going to be using a uh, magic hand. Yes. Because if we move ourselves, the entire area is just going to blow up. That's all I remember. But was he here? No, that's not it. How do you get the guy? I forgot. He's right there. I just don't really... You know what? We are going to be using Gale, so might as well just teleport Gale down there. Yeah. And then if I ever get here... Okay. Uh, if I leap in there and I talk to him and dude just decides to, well, walk off, he's going to have to walk death off because everything's going to blow up. They're beaver banks. Okay. If you read... Uh, it doesn't say anything, but it does say it's fire vulnerable. But again, if you have uh, experienced Bieber Banks before in the Underdark, which we have, you already know these bitches are, first of all, you know they're highly flammable. And second of all, you know they explode if they touch fire when in gaseous form. So if they're gas, it's really bad. Guess what? There's fire right there because there's a torch burning. And everything's gonna blow the fuck up. So what we need to attempt, first of all, is to see if I can remove torch. Remove torch attempt. I'm gonna see if I can remove the torch. If that doesn't work, then I'm gonna rely on the hand. First of all, moving here is real bad, so I'm gonna have to teleport straight onto the torch. Ah, okay, you technically can't do that. Because they insta-blow up the second you see the fire. Alright. I don't really want to use the mage hand. Because it's kind of like a cheap way of doing the thing. I want to see if there's another way that is much easier, maybe. I think I'll still have to use the mage hand, though. Because I don't think I can use the torch. I don't, I don't think I can touch the torch, rather. Because these bitches are... <sighs> real sensitive to movement. Fortunately, they don't seem to be sensitive to mage hand movement. See what I mean? So you can just... Take the torch. And then throw the damn torch away. This is now I've done it the first time, but I'll do it this way. Just to show you guys that it's possible to do it in another way. Then you initiate conversation if you move in there. So if you actually go talk to him and he just starts running off, everything blows up because of the torch. A mushroom that releases dangerous spores. Highly flammable. It's a predicament, yes. I know that. Scroll. Escape. My bag, please. I've dropped it somewhere. Guy forgot that he had a torch. Okay. First option one, we do save him. He's the, the guy uh, the dwarf upstairs wants to save. Let's see if I can grab the torch from here. Good. Alright, so technically everything should be okay now, but I still need to check. Uh, his books or whatever is somewhere uh, there, actually. Anyway, everything should be fine now. I don't think they're gonna blow up anyway. They will turn to gas, but there's no more... Uh... Yeah, you should. You should run, but there's no torch anymore, so technically we don't care. He's not gonna die. See? It, 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 this is probably the easiest way to do it. The other way to do it that I know of is you use the mage hand to grab the backpack, throw the backpack at him. He 
uses something from the backpack. I forgot. But, yeah. The torch is the reason that shit blows up hard. So just remove the torch and it's easy. Yeah, I can kind of show some some game knowledge in the Underdark, because I've mostly been playing here. Alright, um... I met Dareth. I must... need to go. For you. You're in trouble. Thank you soon. Uh, Alright, we got a scroll of invisibility. There's a noble stock in there, so I'm gonna take that. I'm also going to be looking around a little bit, even though that means I am uh, probably going to get a little bit poisoned, but at the same time, do I care? Because I'm undead. I'm technically immune to all of this. Gale is immune to all of this, because he's undead, so is Kermiel. We quite literally don't care. There's lots of candle. A lot of... Uh, lots of candles. Lots. Lots. Lots candle. We are getting like seven of these. Eight. Something. Luckily, these are not flaming. If they were, damn, that would have been bad. Alright, is, is there anything else in this chasm? Because the first time I just used the mage hand and I removed myself from the area pretty quickly. That said, is there anything up here that uh, may do something? I don't think there is, actually. I think this entire area right here is specifically for the dude, from for Balin. You can also go up here, jump there, and remove the torch that way, but since we can teleport, it don't matter. You can also use Misty Step, if you don't have such a cheap way of moving around, like Dimensional Leap, which is a class action that's for free, because that shit's modded. <laughs> Alright. Now, technically, Gale could just move around freely, but I'm not gonna do that. The reason is because this is Kremiel's show, not Gale's show. Yes, yes. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Okay. Now, we, bear in mind, we do have the other party, which actually needs to do some movement soon. Uh, I'm not gonna be sitting around here because there's no reason to. So, let's go talk to Dwarfy. See what she got. We still gotta find a way to destroy the... The vines over there. I, knew I, was forgetting something. I got the noble stock. Absolutely worthless. I don't know if I want to give it to her though. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. Yeah, let's not do that. Obviously no love, though. Love. <laughs> Never heard of it. Balin's me. Cringe. But he used to be a rotten old bastard. Treated me like an old shoe for 70 years. Losing his mind was the only... Damn, how old you, though? 70 years. You look 50, though. It's a miracle he survived, that's for sure. Please. Balin's got a job to do. We can leave when he's done it. I have a noble stock. Uh, the game doesn't want me to give it to you, though. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. Okay. Show her the noble stock. To no surprise of mine, you're more competent than Balin. Motherfucker, we only found the noble stock because Balin was stuck in the beaver bank area. Sure, let's, go. let's just give it to her. Might as well. We don't technically care for the noble stock. Not right now, anyway. I don't know what it does, actually. I do, thank you. Come visit me in Baldur's Gate if you find yourself that way. We, I, run a shop called Bone Cloaks. Balin nearly sunk the shop to pay for a drink. When he was of his own mind. This might allow me to hang on a little longer. You take care out here. Alright, so we got, what is this? Gloves are of uninhibited Kushigo. Uh, I've never seen these. Last time I did not actually see the noble stock, or rather I did never I never gave her the noble stock. 
Um, the wearer deals an additional 1d4 damage with throw attacks and attacks made with improvised weapons. So if we are using... Uh, you know what? This would be good on Lazelle, actually. Doesn't Lazelle... Yeah, she's a... An Eldritch. She could technically use this. She would do, instead of one damage with with, with her thrown weapon, she would do two. <laughs> uh, you know what? Sure, let's, let's send this to... I can't. I can't. Let me throw this onto Lazelle, because magically we can move it. Okay, we apparently have just literally leveled up everybody. So, excuse me while I go level up. Uh, if you guys don't want to see this, I will put some chapters in the description so you can skip the entire leveling process. Uh, that's it. If you do want to see this, stick around. We're starting with Gale. And it's going to jump to... Uh, Starion, and then we're leveling up Kremiel last, because we already leveled up Shadowheart. And I'm going the other way. So we got a level 6 wizard, a visard, a guy from, this This basically Sero from uh, from Bleach. Etherlands, yep, Astalazor, Electrocute, when do I get level 4 spells? I was sure... That level 6 would give me level 4 spells. Do you even get level 4 spells? Or are those like... Uh, um, scroll specific? I wouldn't know because I've never actually gone past level 5. So this is unknown territory to me. Just saying. Uh, we can fly, apparently. I can give everybody the flight ability for... T what the fuck? <laughs> Oh shit, hold up, target yourself or an ally to become- oh, it's only one. It, it's still an ally that could get a lot of AC. Or I could give myself AC on Gale, so he stops being a perma bitch that always dies. That could help. Um... Let's see, import undeath, we don't care about that. We need to make a Sterion undead as well, by the way. Because, technically, vampires are undead. They're a form of undead creature of the night, okay? So, not sure why the game doesn't have him as undead. Or maybe it doesn't show up until later. Because I don't think we actually found out in the story just yet that he's a vampire. Even though we kind of know he's a vampire, because he looks the part. He got the teeth too, and the ears. Isn't the Starion like a, an undead elf? Kinda? A, a, a vampire elf, rather? I think. We'll see now, what do I want to take? Flash Freeze sounds interesting, it's a 48 with uh, 10 turns of Restrained. Can't move. Hmm. Uh, I don't want Stinky Cloud, fuck that. Vortex Blast would replace no uh not knock. Uh Thunderweave? Thun Thunder something? Thunderwave? I forgot the name. But where is my damn level 4 spell? That's what I need, because I need to Technically I don't need to heal them, but it would be useful to Will not always have to wait for dying. <laughs> also, this only works if my if my entire party in uh, which Kremiel and or uh, Gale reside. So, yeah, that that party needs to get a full wipe for this to work. The undead strat, or rather, the undeath strat, <laughs> where we revive full HP. Hmm. Non-detection, what is this? Hide it from divination. Okay, interesting. We don't care about that, though. We don't care about magic weapon. We don't really care for a lot of these, which are concentration, because... Gale gets hit a lot. So, this is something that I feel like may just be a must. I feel like Gale has enough damage at this point, so taking more damage is kind of useless. Except if I maybe take Aether Lance, which is a 
quite a cool little AD4-4 spell. <laughs> it does a lot of damage. Uh, what do you do? Disadvantage. Hmm. Antagonize. Possibly causing the target to use its reaction to make a melee attack against another creature. Well, would this include friendlies? I don't know because it doesn't specify, so I'm not gonna take it. I could grant flight to everybody. Which would be extremely fucking cool. You know what? I feel like flight might actually be useful. Damn, this lightning bolt though. 86 and it's a 8 to 48 damage and it's it's a 30 meter oh my god okay do we take this because this is busted broken actually i feel like the armor class is like a must for gale we kind of have to take this one it's just that if i break concentration it's gonna be annoying oh wait lethargic the fuck does lethargic do Consumed by exhaustion, can't move or take actions, bonus actions or reactions. Good during combat, real bad after. For how long? Hold up. It doesn't say for how long though. I'm gonna assume it's another 10 turns? Question mark? It doesn't specify the exact duration. This could potentially just kill me. Straight up. So I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna take Grand Flight. And I, I think I'm taking Lightning Bolt. 848 Lightning Damage. It's an 86. Uh, Ether Lance is also real good, I feel. Alright, the Blast has all creatures in a line. So if I got a lot of people in a line, god damn, this could potentially be crazy damage. That said. So does this one. I just realized, this does the same thing, only it's lightning and it does more damage, if it actually rolls the die properly. Well, let's do that. Prepare spell. What we need to do is, first of all, remove burning hands, because there's no way I'm getting within 5 meters of anybody with Gale. Take flight. And then, uh, let's see, we remove grease, because it's fucking useless. Because we have fireball. So I, I don't need grease. Even though prone is good, I would rather just insta do more damage. Because this requires a setup, and I don't want to have to set up. So we do this, okay? I feel like this is just the best choice overall. I don't, I don't want to have to set up my spells, okay? Sometimes you just gotta blow them up. Alright, Astorion is getting uh, autopsy, which is uh, 3d6 force, selecting a... Target humanoid or undead, you execute precise dissection and deal 3 to 18 force damage. So it's gotta be humanoid or undead. This is considered a sneak attack. Ah, so this only works as a sneak attack, I feel. Which means I can't technically use this in melee? When they already know I'm there? What if I take invisibility though? Hmm. Skill proficiency. Wait, change? Uh, are you telling me to change, or can I add extra? I think I can't add extra. Lie, cheat, manipulate the truth, persuasion. He's got high acrobatics. What if I... I don't need persuasion on Asterion. I feel like I just need acrobatics. Shame I can't take athletics. He's a fucking vampire, has minus one athletics. That makes no sense to me. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't technically need deception. So I'm gonna take perception instead. Because I feel like perception is just much better on a Asterion as a whole. Okay. This is for... These are granted from class, which is fine, but I don't care for either of these. These are dialogue related. We don't really care for dialogue in this playthrough specifically. We care for fucking people up, okay? 
So we're doing this. Acrobatics and Perception. Shame I don't get more skills on a Starion. Game just game just doesn't give me any more skills on this modded class for some reason. Uh Karlak gets nothing but a bestial soul. Choose one benefit to help you adapt to your surroundings. The benefit you choose lasts until you finish a short or long rest. Motherfucker, what? This is weird. This is weird, real weird. I don't know if I want to go with this. I feel like I just kind of want to skip and go to fighter. Or just go to something else. What if? Hmm, we'll see now. I feel like Asterion could benefit from Surgeon. Actually, if I get no damn spells next level on 7, I am going into Surgeon with Asterion. I'm just gonna let you know right now. Um, We'll see now. What is a wielder? Trubadur, Punish, Ilrigger, Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna attempt the multi-class somehow. Eldritch Champion, I'm well, giving that to Lazel because she's an Eldritch. Hmm, I think I'm making Shadowheart a Seaforged on next level. Because she's already like a Forger or something. So we got Barbarian. What if Scald? What does Scald do? Bard? Nah. Nah. Let's see. Blood Hunter. Oh, this could also work on uh, a Starion. Hmm. Artificer. Masters of Invention. Mm -mm. Nah. Harley Quinn could also work on a Starion, actually. Kinda. Because deception. What do I give? Your powers are in it, not spells to be verbally casted. You aren't affected by silence. Um... I don't think Harley cares for that. What is mutation? Nah, that's way too much for Karlak. She's just a dumbass. That's strong warrior. If you know what I mean. Let's go see what Wielder does. Damn, Excalibur. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You have been chosen by a powerful deity to wield a magical weapon of immense power. <sighs> Do I... Multi-class into fucking Arthur Pendragon? Uh, <laughs> Excalibur Perun Nekaka. What? What is Perun? Who the fuck Nekaka? Uh, I'm gonna assume this is a bow. It might not be though. Lightning magic from the skies causing Perun to appear. Can I see what these do though? Oh, I can. 1 to 12. Brother, that is shit. Actually. Okay, I, I, I do be level 1 in that specific class. Gotta remember, even though I'm level 6, that specific class will be level 1. Nakaka is interesting. It's a piercing mace, kind of. A ball of hurt. It's just a sword, a big sword. I'm, I could just give this to... What's it called? Um, uh, what's, what's her face? Lazel? What if Elder's Champion? Do I make her an Elder's Champion? Two weapon fighting. What is this? Mark of the Lost. Hmm... Nah. Can I keep a Barbarian? But like, give myself the other class features from Barbarian? Apparently no. You know, I would have loved to actually be able to give myself 
uh, multi subclasses instead of multi classes. So I could be a barbarian that is beast mode and something else. You know what I mean? It's fine. I'll just keep this. I don't think anything actually fits Karlak as a character other than just barbarian. Maybe fighter. Maybe. Uh, nah, I was gonna say paladin, but not really. She's just a dumbass in the front line. Subclass features. Dark One's own luck. Okay. A 1d10 to an ability check. Interesting. Is this passive? I'm gonna assume it's passive. We get a spell. Um. I think. Hold up. This is 10 turn of concentration, but at the same time, this shit is static, I assume. So, yeah, that is something that is very situational. Reach into a creature's mind, causing it to lose the ability to distinguish friend from foe. Uh, that is interesting, I'm not gonna lie, but what if we get familiars? Ah, this doesn't work with the shadow. Ah, okay. Not found could be useful, but at the same time, I don't think we care. Shatter is kind of nice at 3d8. Remove curse. I don't think we care about this. Oh, we actually do, but we we would be using this. Let's see. Can I use remove curse on that vine thing? Let's see. Intellect fortress. One creature resistance to psychic damage as well as advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Oh, this is concentration too. Hypnotic pattern. Hypnotized creature that can see the pattern. They cannot attack you. They cannot move or act for two turns. But it's concentration. I don't like concentration spells. I could go with counter spell. I could just take counter spell. Or I could just get grand flight, but I think like I should keep that for Gale specifically. Know what I mean? Cuz he's the actual mage. <laughs> the wizard. Fear though would be decent. Drops everything and become fearful. Wait, did they drop weapon for a turn? That's kind of interesting. I could take animate uh, undead. You know what, let's take animate undead. As much as I would like to, to take counter spell, I feel like animate undead is heavily underestimated. By, well, me. Uh, I'm not gonna change anything because he's the main damage dealer from afar in the other group. So, yo, we need all of this. Also, we need someone shadow spawn. I feel like this is really strong. I just need to make sure he doesn't lose concentration. So I spawn this dude. The first turn I get. And then I just let him do his thing. And I stay far away. That is what I need to do. I'm not I'm not replacing anything. Why are your feet showing? Hello? <laughs> Where are your boots at, my brother? Alright, we got Lazel over here. Uh, replace spell. I don't think I want to replace anything, actually, on Lazel. I do believe this is all strong and should all be kept. However, we have a feat. Let's see, we got 16, 14, 16. I could go 18 strength. We are using uh, this, but we also use int for the spells, if I recall. I don't... I don't see it because it doesn't say it anywhere. It does not say it anywhere. How would I know? 
How would I know? <sighs> okay, let's see. Uh, when attack while wielding a finesse weapon. Okay, we are not using finesse weapons. We got a great sword. So let's not do that. Savage attacker? When making melee weapon or an armed attacks, you roll your damage dice twice and use the highest result. Um, not bad. What if mobile? Warcaster? I could maintain concentration. We can also use Shocking Grasp as a reaction in melee. How about Weapon Master? You gain proficiency with 4 weapons of your choice and your strength or dex increases by 1 to a maximum of 20. Hmm, as much as I, I like this, I also like Warcaster. But at the same time I feel like I may just have to look at others and maybe just take Athlete or Ability Improvement. This gives me more jumps. Okay. Higher jump. That's what I get. I get a higher jump. Well, I think Lazel uses medium armor, which means we only use 14 decks. I think I take this because it gives me higher jump, which means I could technically enter combat faster. Even though. Uh, Lazel can in fact jump pretty really far. She has to make use of the the Gistianki psionic jump, which I don't really like to use all that much. I would rather just jump high and far by default, honestly. Th that said, we can combine these two and just reach new heights, if you know what I mean. Let's jump far away. Hmm. Or ability improvement and just go 18 strength right off the bat. Uh, at the same time, I'm probably gonna be taking ability improvement anyway. Or... We go alert. And we get uh, 5 initiative and can't be surprised. Which could also work. But at the same time, I don't think I care about this all that much on Lazel. I could go dual wielder and just switch off the greatsword, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna maybe do that with Karlac? Because that would actually make sense. Since she is using a one-handed weapon currently to, well, heal herself. So imagine if I could get another weapon that could heal Karlac. That would be awesome, actually. I think I just do this, honestly. Or I go medium armor master and get another dex modifier to the plus three instead of plus two. I actually feel like medium armor master would be best. I think Lazel uses medium armor now. I'm pretty sure, actually. But if she doesn't, that's gonna be real bad. When you wear medium armor, it doesn't impose disadvantage on stealth checks, and the bonus armor class can gain plus one from dex, instead of plus two. Which could be real good, but at the same time I can't make use of it right now. So what I could do is I could set up for that, and instead of taking athlete, I take ability improvement and I go like this. But then I also need to take that the other turn, and this ability improvement feat right now is fucking useless. I wish I could remove the one wisdom, add one here, and then just split, you know? But you can't do that, unfortunately. Hmm. This could be good, I just... I need to make sure I get the text then. So I can't take this right now. Even though it can potentially be really good. I could also take Mage Slayer. But most of them will not cast a spell in melee range. So taking Mage Slayer is 
bad in my opinion. What if moderately armored? Ah, but I already have proficiency in medium armor. See, if medium armor master would also give me one dex, that would be great. <laughs> but it doesn't, and since it doesn't, I can't really make use of it right now, because I only have 14 dex. Okay. I need to set up for that, and I don't really like having to set up. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm getting dual wielder on Karlak. When I actually get the chance to get another feat. And I think we are going for Athlete. And going for 17 Strength. Do I actually get 17 Strength? Or do I want to... <sighs> Man, this is painful because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up to 16 Dexterity. To be able to get this, to get the extra modifier. Because then, if I have 15 decks, I could just take ability improvement the next time I take this. You know what? And... I'll just take medium armor master. Do I... Fun fact, I don't know if I get to select another feat later. That's the problem. Like, would I get another feat at level 9? Because from what I'm seeing, this is every 3 levels on certain classes. I don't know if I'm going to get another feat. That's a problem. And if I don't, oh, that's going to suck. If I do, that could be useful. Shit. Actual shit. I think I just take the strength. Or rather, I would just take this, honestly. Let's just do that. I know it's taking me a while to level up, but there's a lot of shit to take into consideration. What is this? Aura of Terror. Ooh. Oh, this is permanent. Hold up, phone. Creatures can't be f uh, that can't be frightened are immune to this aura. Oh, well, that's cringe, but understandable. Okay, we get uh, to prepare another spell. We are removing Absorb Elements. We don't care about that garbage. Even though it could potentially be useful. Uh, do I take Mind Whip? I feel like Mind Whip could be useful, actually. Or not found. Um, we do have Seen Visibility, so we don't care about this. We don't care about Not Found. Because we can see invisible people with Cremiel. Enthrall? Nah. Hmm. Warding bond could be useful. Because if I warding bond and then I enter wraith form, I take less damage, they take less damage, but I can't attack. Hmm. Uh, at the same time, it's not all that good now that I look at it. Oh, I could corpse grenade myself. <laughs> I could corpse grenade myself. Um. Huh. Ray of Enfeeblement. Yes. They deal half damage with. Oh no, this concentration I just realized. That's real bad actually. So the reason I don't like concentration spells is because one hit can literally break concentration. One hit is enough to break concentration. A lot of the time. That is why I do not like concentration in general. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna stick the black guard all, all the way to level 10. Because I'm only getting this. Or should I get this and multi-class after? You know what, I feel like Aura of Terror might actually be useful, so I will keep this. I will keep Aura of Terror, and I'm gonna multi-class after this. And I think I might actually multi-class in normal Paladin, which is gonna be weird as fuck, but... Yeah. 
So, that's it. Oh my god, this could be broken actually. I know it's a concentration spell, but uh, this spell right here is could have potentially really broken. The reason this is really broken be is because here in the Underdark, a lot of these uh, dwarves we will be fighting will be hitting at least twice. Which means if that motherfucker hits another motherfucker, it's gonna be good for me and bad for them, you know? I need something that is action and does not use spell, if possible. But these are all spells, even though it doesn't say they use spell slots, they will. I already know it. So I got a level 2, a level 2, a level 2, a level 2. Oh my god, bro, I took too many level 2s! Can I get a level 1 that doesn't... That, that is fucking useless. <sighs> I really wish... They would just show me that they do in fact consume a spell slot when used. But it doesn't, so I don't know what uses a spell and what doesn't, so I automatically just assume everything uses a spell slot. <laughs> Cringe. I am tempted to Sanctuary, actually. Because this might just be the... Uh, other than Tasha's, these might just these two might just be the most broken spells in the game. Sanctuary, because you're literally immune to damage unless they AoE. And the, the way they AoE is they throw shit at you and accidentally hit you because that's how the game works. And they will always accidentally hit you. <laughs> because it's AoE. And yeah, AoE spells will fuck you up. This only works against um well NPCs that directly target you, or the person you sanctuaried. Hmm, I could take command. Hellish Rebuke. Bane could potentially be good, but again, it's a concentration spell. I don't want it. I need shit that's not concentration. I could take Disguise. I have found myself being unable to enter burrow holes, and I do not have a Disguise. Uh, at the same time, I don't really want that for Cremiel. I did have Dissonant Whisper at some point. And I feel like this is a really good spell. It's also 18 meters and it's a 3d6. Also Frightens, they have disadvantage. And yeah, it's two turns of being afraid of and just running around. Like a fucking headless chicken. And it's 18 meters. And they still take half damage if they don't if they don't get hit properly. Oh boy. I would really like to take another level 2 spell, but I can't make use of another level 2 spell. I got too many level 2 spells, that's the problem. I got nothing that is level 1, so I'm gonna have to take this. This one whispers is good, okay? It's good. I could also take this, but if this wasn't concentration, but instead a passive, that would have been real good. This is concentration, or at least if this was permanent, bro. It's not permanent, it's just a concentration, which literally means in a single hit, I could be broken. Uh, I like Tasha's, but... I don't feel like I take Tasha's. I feel like being just a perma fear machine is better for Kremiel. All right. Um, if you skip the leveling process, welcome back. If you haven't, uh, well, you know what's going on. But if you have skipped the the leveling process, you haven't missed much, honestly. Just me kind of wondering what I should be taking and. Uh, Ending up with Kremiel being a fear machine, basically. Because now we have this. Which seems to be a permanent class action. Huh. Let's use that. 
It doesn't seem to use anything. Damn, so this is just free, huh? Aura of Terror. This is permanent. And this uses no resources. In 3 meters, everybody's gonna be afraid. That means I don't have to use Mark of the Fallen anymore. Like, at all. So this is fucking useless now. <laughs> Literally. This is quite literally useless. Well, not li really. They are forced to make a saving throw. So if they don't become afraid by this, they become afraid by the other one. Um, Let's see now. It doesn't say what type of saving throw they gotta do on this one. I'm gonna assume it's charisma though. Anyway. Our charisma real low, so anyway. Um, they will still become afraid. Because... It is what it is. Uh, do I have... What is... Who? Okay, we don't care about that. Alright. So what we need to do is... Go there. We have Underdark Susser Tree. So I'm gonna teleport right there. Now... This is right here where we fought. We are going up there... See what the the mage guy that randomly started attacking us no me yet. had over here. I'm not gonna be healing this party up at all. I am actually tempted to make Shadowheart a undead as well. I, I am really tempted to make Shadowheart an undead. I'm not gonna lie. But it doesn't really help all that much actually. Magma, 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 magma. Okay. Okay, dude. A lot of magma. Uh, potato. Garot. Kakarot. Got some ribs. You know I'm taking all them supplies. Okay, I'm tired of actually getting supplies, I'm not gonna lie. Screw the fish. <laughs> we need to find some wood. Where is the wood? Sister Tree Bark, that's what we're looking for. There we go. I really wish at some point somebody makes an MMORPG that is basically Baldur's Gate. Because this could have definitely been an MMORPG. Now I need somewhere to craft it all. Forge the blacksmith's house. Wait, what? You crafting something? Blacksmith house? What? Who? Where? <laughs> Will you show me? I might have forgotten where. Um, quest? Let's see now. Something, something... Something about forging at the blacksmith house. Where? Okay, we don't care about these... Finished masterwork weapon. We've got us. Uh, we need to head back to the forge. Where the forge at? Err, so I gotta go back up top. Yeah, we're not doing that anytime soon. So let's not do that. As much as I would like to go forge that weapon right now, um, let's not exit on their dark just yet. Dude has something. I forgot what. Oh, he got nothing. Never mind. Okay. So, time to get this pork loin. <laughs> time to move on. Yeah. You know what, let's actually do heal Kremiel up a little bit. We do got a bunch of potions on us. Might as well. Uh, I know I haven't done much with this other party, but bear with me. That other party doesn't matter right now. They, at the same time, they also level up, so it's fine. Who? Ah. Hmm. I'll take this ah. Way. I see. So we gotta get away, get away, get away. I'm just gonna blast this. 
I don't know if that works or not. Okay, never mind. Oh, he's out. What is this again? Bullet. Oh, I remember this fella. Oh, you know what happened the first time I saw this guy? He fucked up my entire party. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even joking. This guy legit just fucked up my entire party. Look at his HP. This guy has high acid resistance. Has high resistance to basically any type of damage. Has dark vision. And is modded content. Here we go again. Alright, let's make sure we hit him anyway. This is gonna be hard to kill actually. D this dude took one damage, bro. One. Because I missed and because he's strong as fuck. Okay. Let's see, how do I deal with this bastard? He should technically be afraid. Oh my god, 22 strength, brother. Okay, he's bone chilled, so at least he can heal. He's 19 AC, though. Doesn't show me much. He's monstrosity. Hmm. He is, well, some random ass mole that's in the ground. Uh, I something seems to have lost uh, used a spell slot. Weird. Weird. Let's try to lightning bolt this, I guess. Let me try to see how this works. Oh my god, this is literally Kamehameha. No, actually? This is Piccolo's move, brother. Fucking special beam cannon, let's go. Boom. Damn. Okay, we sp we swapping targets. Interesting. Uh, not really, I kind of hate that. Heesh. 38? Damn! Oh my god, that bitch is just insta-kill the Gale. Okay. Um. What if I... Oh, I can corpse grenade Gale while he's dead. Interesting. I was not aware that's how it works. So... What now? Let me try to stabilize him. Uh, I can't target him because he's undead, never mind. <laughs> No effect on that. Yes, of course, I did forget. I'm not gonna lie, I did forget. So, how do I deal with this bitch? Because I only got three party members, and, uh... You would technically want four. Let's try... Um... Let's see. I mean, I'll just take the mall, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Because he's gonna be taking low damage from everything. Apparently force included. Wow, the, that, that 19 AC hurts, bro. Okay, um... I need to do this. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I got Shield of Fate running. Whoops, my bad, my bad. Uh, sure, let's... Try to bleed it. Yeesh. Jesus. This guy is low dex, by the way. It's low dex. It's a 40%. Why? Why? I don't recall this guy being... Um, What's it called? Oh my god. How do you hit so far, brother? Jesus. Not enough movement, obviously. It's fine. I'll just go close to Gale and try to... I, I still need to try to bleed this motherfucker or something. Just take some damage, bro. Okay. Alright, because... Saved the piercing shot. Uh, Save throw. He didn't fail it. He didn't get bled. Okay, I need to put this guy through the fucking blender somehow. Oh boy. Okay, I, I feel like I just... I don't have any fucking spell slots! Ugh! He hits like a fucking truck too! Which is the main issue. 
How do I deal with this? If he didn't jump, I will have to try to caustic bulb this motherfucker. Because if I do that, maybe just maybe he has his uh, armor reduced just enough. Where the fuck the caustic spore at? Hello. There we go. Maybe he has the armor lowered just enough for me to well be useful. This is good. Okay. Is it good though? Sixty percent, fifty-five. It's not bad. Could have been worse. Oh. Tell you that. Let's jump over. Okay. I'm going a little bit this side. It showed me that I can use this, but I can't. Motherfucker, what are you doing? That's fine. Yeah, this this old breaker, uh not old breaker, this blackguard mod is kinda of broken in a way. That's fine. Did I just heal? Oh my god, bro. Him jumping around just killed my party. It's fine. When this one dies, so does my party. And I revive. Because that's how it works. No? <laughs> oh, he's gone. I'm about to revive soon. Yeah, there we go. But we are not full HP, though. Because I didn't die completely off. Uh, cringe. Well, anyway... Anyway, we did survive, technically. Um... Yeah, we did survive, technically. I got shit on, though. That's kind of bad. That is real bad, actually. So, this doesn't count as spells? A lot of the stuff Kremiel uses doesn't count as an actual spell, by the way. With this, put the... What? Is that 10 turns? Maybe 10 turns. It doesn't say that it's 10 turns. Did Aura of Terror put out Shadowheart's weapon? Okay. I think this party is totally fucking useless right now. I need the... Uh, let's see, do I have a short rest? I got two short rests. I don't want to use them because I need to do shit with the other party. So, uh, the next part of the video is going to be the other party moving. Uh, I'm not going to be moving with this party right now until I short rest fully. Because I need the spell slots. I'm gonna have to short rest at least once, but I can't do that because I am wasting my short rests if I do it right now. So I'm gonna be jumping over to Lazel and heading over to the Githyanki Crash. Alright, it's been a while since I've been up here. Why is everybody in just casual clothing? What the fuck? I'm sorry, what now? Why are you all in... Casual clothing, brothers and sisters. You're all just in camp mode. Apparently his boots are no boots. Interesting. So. Okay. Sure. Now then. Let's figure out where we have to be. Um, if I move to Githyanki Crash, does this also mean that my other party gets, well, teleported to the mountain pass? If that is the case, that is gonna be cringe. Let's see. Okay, so we technically can't go there. Okay. I thought... If I... I'm gonna try, anyway. Okay, so we just saved right here. I'm gonna save over the auto-save. No! I clicked load game. I'm gonna try to move on with this party specifically. Let's see what happens. And then after, I will just teleport Kremiel and uh, Gale and Shadowheart to this main... Or rather, to this secondary party that is 
moving on to the other area. Let's see if this works first of all. Or should I go to Sunlit Woodlands? You know, let's not do that. Let's try to move on and see what happens. Will this progress the story with the entire group? Yes, that's actually not ideal. Stop. Not ideal. Not something we want to do right now. Yeah, we'll keep that for later. Okay, I know y'all are waiting for the actual main story of the game. Bear with me, because we actually have to progress the main story of the character. Yes. As in Cremiel's story, we're playing both Baldur's Gate and Cremiel's Adventure. Gotta remember. So, we are going to Sunlit Wetlands. Okay? That's where we are going right now. But, can we force the weapon with uh, this party? Let's see. Where is... Is it inside the well? Okay. Been a while since I've been in here. Where exactly is this blacksmith thingy? Might have forgotten. Oh, it's right there. Okay, but do I need Gale here? If I need Gale here, it's gonna be annoying. Actually. Wait. Okay, y'all can still move, probably. Soon. Okay, so we are here. At Forge. And... Uh, what now? Finish making weapon. Where? Do I just click Melting Furnace? Okay, so I do need to open inventory on Cremiel. Send the sus the, the susur bark. The, the tree bark. The susur de la tree. Yes. I know that means nothing, okay? My French is real bad. But I still know that means nothing. In French. Probably. Also, that might have sounded racist. I'm sorry if you believe that. I'm just... I'm not good at... French. Alright, let's see if this works. So we got Melting Furnace, and then this. And then, what is this? Oh, I see, I see. So this is technically kind of just showing us how to use the Adamantine Forge later on. <laughs> at the same time. Where the bark? Where the bark, where the bark, where the bark at? Where the motherfucking bark at? Oh, what did I do? Wait. Now, to add a greatsword, sickle, or dagger. Huh. So what I'm gonna do, because we're doing the main character route, I'm going to... Ah. Greatsword, sickle, or dagger. I see. So you need some specific stuff. Okay. Well, I guess I'm boosting the Blazel. Might as well. Girl got the Sword of Justice. Alright, let's see what happens. Um... What actually happened? Wait, did nothing happen? I'm confused. Did nothing actually happen? Is it because it's weapon bound? Or... Is it the weapon is bound, if you know what I mean. I don't actually understand. What is going on? Motherfucker, what? This is a great sword. Is it because it's bound? I kind of want it to remain bound, honestly. Man, this, this is painful. What do I have to do? What if I just do this? Motherfucker, this doesn't work, hello? I'm confused. I am confusion.
What now? How do I do this? <laughs> Actual confusion. How do I do this? I'm gonna try to hit this a couple more times. Maybe that helps. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't do anything either. That is the problem. Do I need Gale specifically to be here? It doesn't seem to have done anything. Maybe I need something that's, well, garbage? What if I put this dagger here? Does Let's see, what dagger you got, uh, Astarion? Steel forged sword. It's a 6 to 11. What if I put that one dagger here? How the fuck do you use it, brother? Do this, and then I do this, and it does nothing. Hello? How do you use this? What the fuck? Y'all do let me know in the comment section. I have no idea. I may have to research this before I actually use it. This is cringe as all hell. Well, on to the lands, if you know what I mean. Let's see. A Blighted Village? Is this the closest spot to... Yes, it is. Ooh, I am losing frames randomly. I have never actually lost frames before. Not like this. Why am I losing frames all of a sudden? There's a chest, but it's... I've already opened that. Good. Uh, oh, there's a goblin party here. Oh, time to fuck them up. You know that. No, you did. Bitch. Oh, there's a whole lot of them. I might have never seen the rest. It's fine. Let's see, this uses blood essence. Ooh, damn! That does a lot of damage. Okay. My past is interrupted. Bro, I don't like that. Alright, I'm just gonna sneak attack. But can I? What do you mean, Pat is interrupted? Just move, brother! Please tell me if I jump here, I can still sneak attack? Can you hit that? No. Can you hit that? No. No. I don't have advantage. Motherfucker, what do you mean? They have not actually seen a Asterion. Oh, this game sometimes. I swear to God. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna headshot this guy. Like. Actually like. Damn! I got bombed. Random goblin boss. Sure. Lady Zell just got smacked a little. It's fine. I'm sure she can smack back. Please hit. Good shit, good shit. Alright. Uh, I can animate dead. I can I animate that one? Zombie skeleton. Melee, melee, melee. Brother, I don't know if this is gonna be good or not, but I would at least like to do this on the boss itself, if possible. So, Eldritch Blast it is. What? You, just move, bro! Oh my god! I have to manually move the guy. Because he's too lazy to do it himself. I gotta be the... The one that's not as lazy. <laughs> Sorry, what? Oh my god. Oh my god! Three spells? Brother! What? 
Hey yo, chill with the heat, bro. Chill with the heels. What the fuck? They just blast their entire fucking party. Mm, what does this do again? Swim, jumps, climbs. Okay, I got the jumps. Alright, you know I got the jumps, so I'm gonna get the jumps on the fellas that are right here. Let me jump on this guy. Um, let's see now. I'm actually gonna jump right here. I'm sorry, do you not have increased jumps? You just walked all the way over there, almost. That is kinda cringe. Okay, that's a one hitter, that's a two hitter. Let's go. Hopefully they smack Karlak. Never mind. Shield. You have to do it. Okay, we are doing this. So I got high advantage. Let's see if I can sneak attack. I can sneak attack some of these. Kind of want to destroy this fellow though. So let's not sneak attack those people, but instead... I would like to, well, not jump off the cliff, first of all. Let's range attack this guy. Decent, decent. And now I can Crimson Blink again, because I made blood. And then I can offhand his... Uh, actually, let's not do that. I can... Uh, will this be enough? Please? Okay, we got sneak attack. Let's go. And then I can still do this again, because Astarion is broken that way. Okay, I'm gonna do this. And then I will Exsanguinating Strike the boss. And I barely did any damage with that, Jesus. It says 9 to 14. Oh, let's see, 6 and a 3 adds a 12. Alright, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Yo, chill. See, now luckily this entire fucking party is self-healing. So I don't have to worry about heals all that much. Even Lazel, she got self-heals with the second wind. I think I'm gonna Tasha this mother yucker. Ooh, yeah, let's Tasha this. Okay, I don't want this... Stupid ass warg to just interfere. Let's jump to the tracker. Action surge. Get smacked. Oh, there's another one. Well, we smacked that fool real quick as well. I was not aware there's another dude up here. Boom. And now we got blood there. So Sterion can go to town if he has to. Uh, again, I would rather just get the balls, see if I can maybe get a higher level under. Nice. You beg for mercy. Motherfucker, you gonna die. Uh, talk? Nah, your lot are dead, brother. Your lot are dead. Past the, the bridge into the camp. Over to the side before you reach the first guards. He's I guess he doesn't know. <laughs> yup, no mercy it is. Karlak doesn't like it, but at the same time, it's only a minus one. No, why? Rip. <laughs> oh, the work is technically dead. Interesting. Alright, can I get a higher level undead if I summon this? What if zombie? Level 3? Will it be a level 3 at least? Damn, okay! It's also automated, but at the same time... This fella is... Uh, a good tanking option, first of all. 
Okay, so the higher the people we kill, the higher the level, the stronger the zombie. Ooh, there we have your great axe. Interesting. What you got over here? A gargantuan cleave. Huh. You know, this could be good on Karlak. But at the same time, I kind of want her to keep on healing herself. If this was not two-handed, that would have been awesome, actually. I don't need the grease bottle. Uh, Goblin Devout, sure. He got nothing. Well, okay then. Let's go save this guy that is randomly up here. For God knows what reason. Um, I am losing frames randomly again. Not sure why exactly. I've never actually lost frames in this area before. Um, release break lever? lever? No, that's not it. Does this make it? Yeah, baby! <laughs> well... Yeah, uh, we just made him. We just launched the fella. We just launched the fella. Alright. Now I could short rest, but I'm not gonna do that. Not yet, anyway. Um, There's an interaction here with the Shadow Heart. We don't have Shadow Heart here, so it's fine. I think the speed of this stupid thing is... Wait, no, it's actually not. Why am I... Tanking frames if I'm looking in this direction specifically. Hello? It's just now though. It normally doesn't happen. Weird. Alright, we head in over to the... <coughs> oh! Damn! Okay, I wasn't sure what was doing those random noises. Oh, more goblins. Okay, we don't care about these fellas. They are low level. If any of these were at least level 3, then sure. Um, can I even go to this place? Ooh, who are you? Who these? This is the first time I see these people. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Who's Marina? Please. Also, who are these people? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. Why do I not trust this lady? Ask again. Huh. It does literally have nothing to do with me. So let's just move on. I don't. I don't care about this old lady. You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Lot of good you are. Motherfucker, I don't think I should trust you. Yup, there we go. There we go. See, this is why you don't trust the fastest old ladies all the damn time. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. I feel like I should kill her. Bye -bye now. Nah, I feel like I should kill her. What? Oh, she's gone, gone. I don't have Shadow Heart here. <laughs> Otherwise, I could revive. Well, it is what it is. Let's read this. Marina. Hmm. I'm going to the hag. See, I knew the fucking hag was a, a problem. Now I actually don't know where the hag is, so... It is what it is. Reps. Maybe in... Wait, am I actually... Uh, okay. I was... Never here before. I think it jumped down here, actually. During this playthrough, specifically. And that's how I was here the first time. Let's try to roll a die. We got Astral Knowledge. Whew. Damn! Hurts. Actually hurts. Roll. 
Oh my god, Lazel, come on. Sister, get a 20! Jesus! Oh my god, I'm gonna waste everything here. Okay, never mind. I am... Uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna waste another two of those. You can't uh, see anything strange. Bro, that sneeze kind of just... Uh, my nose! That one sneeze. Loving note. Uh, sure. Let's read. On the E. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite to eat on me. Um, let's not do that. I don't trust the, the lady. She seems like that witch from Hansel and Gretel. I feel like I gotta kill her ass. Actually. Place is trapped. Uh, I do have a zombo. Let me ungroup real, un real quick. And time to dash. Alright. We're dashing with the zombo. Who this? Level 4 sheep. Okay. Yes, we are scouting with the zombie. I've never been here before. Place is apparently trapped. Nice. Luckily, zombie seems to not care. Is this guy invincible? He doesn't seem to take any damage. Like, at all. Not from the trap, anyway. He got open wounds, doesn't bleed at all, or rather, doesn't care for the bleeding. I'm gonna assume this is the house of the witch, if you know what I mean. We just saw her kill two people in cold blood. Hello, it's just a blah, 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 blah at your door. Bro, hit the lady. Ah. Oh, damn! 468 HP, I'm sorry, what? I am sorry, what? There's Marina. Who? Oh my god! What the fuck? Three. Where the fuck the old lady at, bro? Why is she 468 HP, though? Jesus! Thank god I sent the zombie first. I'm gonna assume I have to save Marina. I may have to use her. I'm gonna try to save Marina, actually, now that I'm here. Oh boy, okay, this is gonna be rough. Hold up. Hold up, I gotta go through Bullet Sponge. <laughs> That's what you call these. Alright. Okay, well, this zombie is gonna die soon. What I need to do is. Summon a zombie with level 4. Hopefully it's got 144 HP too. Or at least half. Where are you, where are you jumping towards? Hello? Okay, I think here's the hag. I am assuming anyway. Yep. Oh my god! What? Mother f Oh my gosh, she's fugly, bro. Yeah, okay. So, let me check. Okay, there's a tunnel here. And this tunnel goes... Down below. Jesus! Okay, this is a horror kind of situation right now. This motherfucker has a fuckload of HP, too. And Mayrina just fucking gone. Probably down there somewhere. Alright, the zombie is... The, the zombie has proven extremely useful. You know what I need to do? Yo, hold up. This entire area just turned dark. Damn. Okay, we need to summon Shadow Spawn. We need to summon this dude with the... I don't think we use the fear. Or the despair. I think we do the fury. And I think we do the fury right up there. As far as possible. 
So it insta enters combat. Got him. Okay, now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna group up. The pride of the gate. I'm gonna try to move around. Let's we'll see if we can actually do that. Will be done. Okay. Um, we'll do this first. Before anything else happens. Shit! Shit! Okay, we have to just go straight there, I guess. Too many traps. I'm sorry, what? Anyway. Ah, we got spiked. Okay, that explains the bleeding. Um, Asterion's gonna love this area, though. He's gonna bleed, and uh, he's gonna heal. Every time he bleeds. Every time anybody bleeds, Asterion will heal. <laughs> okay, where are these people at? Oh my god, my shadow spawn got destroyed, brother. What the fuck? Okay, technically, I can rage because I'm gonna be taking damage every turn for the next, well, nine. So I can rage. I'm gonna do tail. And you know I gotta jump right in there. Okay, how far can we jump? How can I not jump all the way over there? Karlak, what is your movement? How is Karlak unable to go all the way over there, bro? That's what I don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna piercing shot this mother yucker. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna miss a 70%. Okay, at least we hit once. Alright, you know what Starion's gonna have to teleport. I think there's blood in there, but I don't know if I have the range. I don't, actually. What I can do, though, is teleport all the way here. From all the way there, in the back. And then I can sneak attack, I think. I don't have advantage? Sorry, what? How? Bro, that's cringe. Alright, I will hamstring shot this one. Was that not at 85% that I just missed? That's feeling so bad, bro. Actually feels extremely fucking bad. Alright. I really need to just protect Karlak, actually. I feel like Karlak really just needs protection. Some strong, strong protection. And I think I bone chill this sucker, so he doesn't heal. Because, uh... I'm gonna just assume these people can heal, they're blood sages, and I'm gonna assume they can self-heal. There's a lot of blood here. Okay, can I jump there? Not really, no. Can I hit... from here, though? I still can't believe the fucking shadow spawn got destroyed. Okay, I think this is good enough. I need to follow the hag and fast. Hopefully she doesn't kill Marina, but I can still, well, revive, revive her ass if I have to. Let me just bring Shadowheart here and the other party. And just... Nah, actually, let's not do that. Why are you jumping there, though? Hello? Okay. Alright, you should be going... Let's destroy this fella, please. One. A two. Nice. Let's go, Karlak. And we're jumping forward. Because Karlak built different. There we go. Let's remove the terrain. Um. Okay. Okay, let's end turn. This fucking hack, bro. Jesus Christ. I, I can't seem to actually teleport anywhere because there's no blood, but there is an ancient sigil there. So, technically, if I do this, no, I can't teleport in combat. Man, that's cringe. 
Anyway. That is actually really cringe though. Why can't I teleport in combat? Like, I'm sorry, why? Makes no sense. You would think... I could teleport in combat. Bro, you just missed an 85%. I could have teleported right there. If you just fucking bled the guy. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sad, bro. Okay, can you jump? You got the jumps, but can you jump? Apparently not. I could miss this stab, but I don't really want to. Actually? Uh, no, I will let Karlak tank the damage before I miss this step. I feel like that's the play. Quirk. I need to dash. Will is way too far. <laughs> he needs to just get in here, kinda. Okay, bear in mind I can't bonus teleport. Okay, let's fucking... There's another red cap! What? How? Where? Oh my god, there's four? Bro. Okay, well, I have no actual healer though. Keep that in mind. Okay, I need to fuck these people up real fast. Okay, hopefully she doesn't break concentration. Will this break uh, rage though? I don't think it will, but if it does, well, I get extra hit points. Heh, poor fucker, indeed. Hit him. Bro! Oh my god. This is a 99% if you fucking miss this. I was gonna say, bro, I, I would've been actually upset. Okay, uh, did the bleeding occur? It did. Starion, you got a job to do, my man. Get in there. Alright, time to get him good. I will autopsy the fuck out of you. Concussion, optics, this dissection. Ooh. Yeah, let me just... Oh, how is this not humanoid? What? Motherfucker, this is humanoid. What do you mean? How is this not considered humanoid? What? That is weird as hell. Okay, well I can't use my strongest Asterion attack, which is Autopsy, because for some fucking reason, this is not considered a humanoid. This motherfucker got two feet, two hands, a torso, and is standing upright. That is humanoid. The literal definition of humanoid. Um, 3d6, 2d6. Nah, let's sneak attack for more damage. And then let's try to put it prone. Okay, for some reason it didn't go prone. Um, This is per turn, which technically means I can do this all the damn time. Let's go, baby. Starry on doing damage, doing dips. Okay, I need to dash. I'm not going to waste the Misty Step. I don't feel like this is the plan. What I feel like doing, though, is sitting a little bit in the back. Maybe a little bit spread out, so I don't have to tank AoE shots in case they do happen. Know what I mean? Okay, can you jump here, please? Surely you can Eldritch Blast. Bro. I'm sorry, but this game just told me I can jump there. Guy moved, and all of a sudden I can't jump anymore. That's fucked up. Actually. Okay. I know there's double train movement, but don't tell me I can do it if I can't. <laughs> it's cringe. Okay. What you gonna do, though? Let's see. Okay, he's dashing. He's... They don't seem to have all that... Ooh, multi-attack. Yo! What the fuck? Okay, he got flamed on. Okay, um, I'm sorry, but... What? Bitch. Bitch. I wish the secondary attack was not a bonus and I could still use Concussive Smash. Wait, this is an action, not a... Okay, 
I thought this would be a bonus action, but it's not. Huh. So they're both actions. Okay, Carlac's just gonna solo carry this, but Asterion's just... Gonna play a big part as well. So this is... Short rest? Oh, following a successful sneak attack. I see. I can! Because he's in the bushes. <laughs> yep. He in the bushes. Alright, I can just do this and not provoke an opportunity attack. Because that's Starion kind of built like that. Okay. Well, we need to smack. Alright, that's a lot of damage. Um, you say no holding back, but at the same time, I gotta hold you back. So, just range attack, please. Range attack, please. I need to get rid of these bastards fast. I don't know what the heck be doing. I'm kind of getting worried a little bit. She's outside combat, and she's perma-moving. I need to smack these fools, and fast. So, Korlak, start hitting. Thank you. Yes, it is. Can I... No, I can't sneak attack anymore, but it's fine. I can auto -psy. Will you tell me that I can auto -psy now? Because previously I could not. No. Cringe. I th think I bleed this guy because he's a lot of HP. Okay. And then I do this. And then I sneak at... Uh, let's see now. What's more damage? Okay, so we sneak attack for the more damage. He's already bleeding. We do this. And. Yep, that's gonna be a lot of damage he's gonna be taking every turn. Plus the extras. We still have to deal with this mother yucker. Please! Oh, I wish I had extra surge actually. What if I push? Bitch! Alright, it's time to move into melee. Nice. And then I... Uh, let's see. Weak grip. Sure. Please work. Save. Not good. Prone, please? Damn it, man! <laughs> Super. Well, at least he's taking damage. From all sorts of sources. Oh, well, he's gonna just get smacked by Karlak a little bit. And I'm gonna disengage with a Starion. Because I kinda need to do it. So... I mean, we need to go and follow Hag. Like now. So Starion kinda just needs to hurry the fuck up. Thank you. Dash. Leave combat if possible. It is not possible. I can't go all that far. It's fine. This guy is just here to tank my damage. So I'm gonna abandon combat with uh, Starion. I'm gonna try to disengage with Will because I don't technically need him here. Uh, actually, I do need Will here. What I don't need here is Karlak anymore. Okay, that's cringe. Yeah, I don't technically need Karlak -like here anymore. It's fine, actually. Just hit me. I don't care. Never mind. We deal defense. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, I do take Karlak -like and Astarion to the Hag. Now that that dude's almost dying. Finally. Is this fucking terrain so hard to move? Or am I just not being able to... Wait, I can teleport. Oh, that's so bad. I should have just teleported. Actually, can I still do that? Uh, that? That's a yes. That is a yes. Can I still move after teleporting, though? That, that That's a massive W right there on Asterion's uh, teleport. Just walk into homes now. Yes, you, you can, in fact. And you can actually run all the way over there. Because you're kind of built like that. Walk over fire as a vampire. Damn, that's, that's an accidental rhyme right there. Asterion is just... 
walk into places. Okay, will you die, please? Surely you're dead next turn, so let me just walk away. I wish I would not proc opportunity act attacks when I jump. Because that is cringe as all hell. A jump should not be procking opportunity attacks from enemies. This is my time. Especially when I'm kind of far away. Okay, I hope you just kill this dude. Please. Good. So, no! That is bad. Okay, we need a Sterion here. We don't want to move like that. All right, where the hag? Motherfucker, what? Oh, do I gotta click these to actually enter? Oh, okay. I was not aware. Damn, this place green, bro. What the? Fellfire, hello? Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's World of Warcraft reference. All right. Let's go, Lazo. Damn, 20 turns of rotting. Uh-oh. That is bad. There is a dwarf in there that is... Ifrin, gold dwarf. I'll, I'm trying to save this dude as well. Uh-oh. Jesus, you fugly. This is my personal playhouse. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You die. Get no. I think I'll stay. Eaten your brain already. Leave. Oh, you'll end up in tonight's stew. No, you die. She's already marinated. Oh no. Oh wait, Marina's in the soup. Oh my God, I tried to save her. Did she really put Marina in the soup? No, that's worms. What? Where this, where this bitch at, bro? I am bleeding the fuck out of my mind. Hourglass. My gentle he wished to know what was to come. Let me smack. Don't I, look. I can't. Don't. Let me talk to him. No. No. Don't look. Mustn't look. Mustn't see. Uh. At what? I see it. I see what's to come. You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. Hmm. I don't think I got. Anything that breaks curses on me. Dead. Dead. Flesh rotten, bone shining. Hey, who got me? No. No. Can't stop. Can't. I can't. Don't hurt me. Oh, please. Please. Damn, he scared the fuck out of my out of his mind. Actually, I would be too. That that stupid hack has three hundred HP out of six hundred. What? Um, not everybody looks like you do. <laughs> no, stop! Trick, trick, trick! They're the monster, monster! Damn, I know she's not human, but bro, stop. <laughs> Mind flare the fuck? Okay, we're roaring. <laughs> oh, this dude, he is so scared, bro. Where's the hag? You feel crushing Hello? waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. Wait, is that a mind flare face? Not again. What happened last time you opened? Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. Ah. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him. Oh shit. Bro. By 
Damn, that's gory, bro. Nah, this, this motherfucker needs to die. The twisted surface of the door before you. Flee, you feel it cry. Nah, not afraid of the hag. But we need to get through now. The door rattled. You see the hag and yourself. You lay bleeding as she leans over you. Hmm, the only thing this tree doesn't know is that a starry on heels when he bleeds. I'm just saying. Blood spraying. Not happening. The door twitches, but stays firm. Open the fucking door! <laughs> and you realize that the door is transparent. Oh, we just go. I get it. I get it. If I kill the hag, you'll be free, but... Mm, Open up or I burn the ashes. Uh, low charisma. Bad. Uh, it's fine. Okay. Okay. But it's just an illusion, no? The door shudders, imagining its wooden frame cracking and splintering in a raging inferno. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. Yes, it's just an illusion. You feel the presence with I'm not sure why Astarion is the one that's talking to the door, by the way. Because I'm pretty sure, yup, I got Lizelle selected, but Astarion is the main character here for some reason. Uh, sure. Right, bitch, where are you at? Astarion is the main character in this one, so... Might as well. Yo, hold up. There's a lot of people here, what the fuck? And they're all enemies? What? Why? And the hag's not even here, and I gotta kill them all? I have nothing with which to, well, bust their heads in to make sure they don't try to kill my ass. Ah, cringe. Ephemeral whispers. Motherfucker, what are you wearing? Um... Part of the flock. Auntie Ethel welcomes you, dearie. Tempted by Ethel's whispers. Do you all wear that shit on your faces? Yes, you do. Well, unfortunate, but y'all gotta die, because I don't think I got a way to remove that shit off your heads. Let's see. I don't think I... I don't think I have any sort of way to remove that. It's kind of sad, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Alright. Carlock, you going in. You're gonna start smacking, huffing, and puffing. Jump! Uh, of course. All right, we rage, we tail mode. And we range attack, because we don't really have a choice. And we bleed this motherfucker too. Make sure Starion can teleport everywhere. Speaking of everywhere teleportation. Mm, not enough move speed to teleport, motherfucker what? Okay, can I jump though? Just jump in place, holy shit. This is so bad, bro. I, I hate these stupid spots where I can't do anything because the game just says no. Hit him hard. Wish I could hit him again though. But I cannot. It is what it is. What if I cunning action? Okay, um, let's try this and then we try this and then we exsanguinating blade. So let's see, does this actually, damn, it worked. Yeah, okay, anyway, you're all dead now. I'm just saying, oh, there's, is there another one? There's another one behind. That's crazy. Okay. Go here. 
Eldritch Blast this Mother Yucker. Okay. And then we need Lazel to move. No? Sorry. Why is Lazel unable to move? Okay. Surely you can just jump there. Apparently not, even though you're telling me sure. Okay. Uh, we do this. We got height advantage. I could smack, but... I think it's just bone chill. Hey, that's a crit right there, baby. All right, let's go. I'm going into melee range. Gonna hit him. Unfortunately, again, I don't have a way to smack their smack their heads properly, so they stop being dumbasses. So I'm gonna have to kill them. Anyway, rip, rip. Oh, you're about to die. Sorry, am I not allowed? Bro, what? Great. Please, thank you. I know I didn't use the other attack, but it's fine. I forgot about it. Then we do this, we smack their heads in pretty nicely. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Alright, we are doing this, because this motherfucker seems to be healing. And of course we miss. I'm not even sure how, but somehow we miss, because, yeah. Okay. I won't do it. What if I push? Will you stop being a bitch? Apparently not. Well. Wait, should I even be fighting these? May have just killed a person accidentally. Let's see if I if I have to fight these. I may not actually have to fight these. Ah. Ah, I see. But they are doing uh, wisdom checks. Okay, we have to kill them. Because if not, they're gonna follow me. And I don't think I can kill the hag before the hag kills me. So I'm gonna have to kill him. That's kind of sad, actually. But it is what it is. Oh shit, I can do this and I can move? Bro. Starion's actually broken. I'm not even lying. Okay, is there a way to get down there without... Think. Technically, I could just teleport in front. There we go, there we go, and I gotta smack this fellow with a sanguinating sh blade strike. What is that? Uh, of course you miss. Of course. It's very much obvious that you would miss, no? <laughs> um... Carla got hit by something. Let's see. Oh, damn! Okay. I mean, it's Carla. I'm not surprised at this point. She smacks people. It says I can't move. So what if I throw? What if I throw? Never mind. What if I, um... Throw a great axe at your head? It's apparently not going where I want it to go. It's bad interrupted. Alright, we don't throw anything, I guess. Uh, what if I shoot, though? 12. Okay, let's try. I tried. Okay. We need this guy to die, bro. So, please? God, I wish I could still melee you. Uh, let's go into melee. And now you get hit from two sides. 
I think I should just... Sorry, what now? Is this not the way? What? Uh, confusion. Is that not the way? Because I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, I'm immobile. Oh. Oh. My bad, my bad. I am frightened, apparently. I'm immobile. What if I teleport? Oh, yeah, I could. I could. But I don't know if I should. See? Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna wait here, actually. I will... Saloon's dream. And we did not fall asleep. That is great news, actually. Oh my god, this motherfucker is healing, bro. Yeah, we need to kill him fast. This is a pain for no reason. Can I please hit you, though? Give me sneak attack. Oh my god. I just want to hit this motherfucker. Or am I still frightened? Uh, no. So I need to get in there fast. Because otherwise this is going to be problematic. Because we do need to hit people with Karlak. Why can't I hit? Finally. Jesus. There we go. That's a one. And then there's a two. Good. Unfortunately, I did have to kill him. See, if you remove the mask somehow. I don't know how, by the way. But if you remove the mask somehow, you can maybe save these people. I don't know how, though. Maybe if I steal, question mark? Okay, anyway. Y'all do let me know if you can actually steal the masks from their inventory off their faces somehow. I will attempt. In the next playthrough, maybe. So, yeah. I did jump. It's gonna look weird. Oh, never mind. The game stopped. I did click a lot. Uh, faded note. Read. Don't wear a mask. Obviously. Okay. Time to move on. We are two hours deep. There's a weaker chest. What is inside? I will take. And I will move on. We need to kill this hag. So, let me jump. Oh! I don't like this. These noxious fumes are cringe as hell. They are potentially really, really bad for us. Let me turn off candles. Because that shit's flaming. Oh, there's a trap. That's not good. That is so not good, actually. The stallion needs to put on his gloves. Oh, boy! There is a lot of stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop the video right here because I'm two hours and fifteen minutes, uh, two hours and three minutes deep, and I got fifteen minutes before I actually gotta leave home. I was not aware I'm getting myself into something this deep, but yeah. Uh, next time on Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> we are taking on the Hag. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. By the way, I'll see you guys next time.